Hi, my name is Jan Rossler, and today, I'll be showing you how to install the Sunny Boy 3.0 to 5.0 quickly and easily. The major difference is that the new Sunny Boy is the first inverter with SMA Smart Connected. Thanks to the integrated SMA Smart Connected service, the Sunny Boy is an all-round convenience package for PV system operators and installers. First, we'll look at how everything is delivered. The box contains a quick reference guide for commissioning. The inverter itself. The AC connection. The SunClicks plugs for the DC connection. Terminating plugs. An Ethernet boot. The WLAN antenna. and the wall mounting bracket for the inverter. The advantage of the Sunny Boy is that all connections can be accessed from the outside. This means that the cover doesn't have to be unscrewed. On the back of the inverter, on the inside of the outer cooling fins, there are guide pins on the left and right, which can be used to hang the inverter on the wall mounting bracket. I've already fitted the wall mounting bracket to the wall, and now I'll hang up the inverter. At 16 kilos, it's very light and suitable for one-man installation. After the Sunny Boy has been fixed to the wall, you should attach the anti-removal protection device. Two screws are supplied for this purpose, which can be tightened with a Torx TX25 screwdriver. During commissioning, Please observe the specified cable requirements and cable cross-sections. These can be found in the supplied quick reference guide. I'm starting commissioning of the inverter on the AC side, because then the inverter enclosure is grounded. Before assembling the AC connector, please ensure that the AC cables have been properly disconnected and are de-energized. When assembling the AC connection plug, it's best to start by loosening the swivel nut. This will allow you to run the cable through in one go. Now, insert the cable in the cable connector sockets. When doing so, please take note of the labels PE, N, and L. And tighten the inserted cable with a TX8 screwdriver. You can then fully assemble the connection plug. I'm now taking this locking cap and screwing the whole thing together tightly. Now we can connect the AC plug to the inverter. When doing so, please ensure that the keyway is facing forward. Now for the cabling on the DC side. To do this, you'll need the PV array connection cable, to which the SunClix connectors and plugs have already been attached. Again, ensure that you connect the polarity of the cable, negative and positive. Now, insert the cable in the corresponding connection areas, MPP Tracker A or MPP Tracker B. Cap the remaining connection sockets using the sun clicks and filler plugs provided for this purpose. This ensures that the device is sealed properly. The easiest way to establish a communication option with the inverter is to unscrew the red cap and then screw on the WLAN antenna supplied. To connect the inverter to the energy meter or sunny portal using an Ethernet cable, it's important to first equip the Ethernet cable with a swivel nut. Then attach the rubber sealing ring. And then place the threaded sleeve over the Ethernet cable. It's best to fit the rubber seal at the end of the threaded sleeve. Now we can insert the Ethernet cable directly into the Ethernet jack on the inverter. Next, slide on and tighten the threaded sleeve. So, now we can switch on the grid voltage on the AC side and confirm the DC disconnector is working. 
Mechanical and electrical commissioning of the inverter is now complete. There are three LEDs on the Sunny Boy cover. The green LED on the left is the operating light. The blue LED on the right indicates that the WPS function is active. When the red LED in the middle lights up, this indicates that there is a fault. In the event of a fault, the PV system operator and the installer will immediately receive a notification via email. Automatic inverter monitoring is a feature of SMA Smart Connected. That was the mechanical and electrical commissioning of the Sunny Boy 3.0 to 5.0. Next, you'll need to commission the integrated web server and register in Sunny Portal to activate the SMA Smart Connected service to enable you to monitor the PV system. You can find out in our other videos how to commission the web server and register.